Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6. Uh, just took chat's temperature, and uh, we also counted the number of plantations that we have the potential to get here, and it's a lot. It's a lot. So I think we're going to look at the plantation pantheon coming up. And certainly, we could make Earth Goddess work, uh, especially with using high appeal districts to do shenanigans on, uh, but I don't think we necessarily need to, and we're, 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 we, we played a lot of Earth Goddess games, to be perfectly fair. I'm sad that we haven't cleared a barb outpost yet, but we're looking at political philosophy in 17 turns. So that is a sub turn 50 political philosophy, which is an excellent achievement without a uh, without a randomized tree. Um, but I'm liking that. Again, I wish we could have maybe gotten that boost, but uh, feeling pretty good about that. So, and I and I like I like the prioritization there. We can also potentially switch that switch to that in time to get extra production towards our Temple of Artemis. So, all right, let's find out if, uh, if, if our holy site dreams die today. Bronze is the mirror of the form. They don't. <laughs> I see, like, I see what you did there, Hemlock. Metallica. Okay. Okay. That's fine, Iron. I see you. Little bit. We're close to doing this. Everything is coming up, Millhouse. <laughs> We're close to this. So how many turn and and is this the right spot? So this is currently one. If we settle here and here it becomes three. isn't enough maybe harbor and wonder and well no because their their uh, theater square could go next to this toa right so this is currently come on currently zero appeal but minus uh this will this chopping this will make it plus one plus two plus three plus four so then this is another plus five theater square Yep, that's the plan. Is chop this and leave the uh, leave the uh, plantations for the uh, amenity. Okay, so <coughs> meeting Arabia tells us that the final religion will go to him unless he grabs one earlier. So we really want to pay attention to great profit points and uh, religion stuff starting now. Um, and that may affect some of our... The game wanted you to go for domination when it placed the city-states. <laughs> but then it changed its mind and scattered the iron to the four corners of the earth. Thank you, Zahn. Thank you for the 100 bits. Indeed, that does feel like exactly what happened here. Um, all right. Oh, Cairo's all the way up there. That is reassuring. That is reassuring. So let's let's check in on profits. Zero profit points going so far, probably because holy sites are so far behind. Uh, we could try to make friends here, although I, I'm, I'm lacking the funds. I, I slacked on my first couple delegations. Let's at least try to make a friend here. Uh, okay, so that's good. We are, by the grace of God, Victoria, Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, and soon, dare I say, the Empire. Lacking funds to make friends. <laughs> Is that just called not joining a fraternity? Zanzibar is nice. We're still only at six era score, which is a troubling amount. Oh, 
What up, Dave? How you doing, dude? It's good to see you. So Ranch plus Arabia means we are competing for the last two slots. Yeah, it is a little bit scary. I don't know if we're going to be able to come up with a religion. No Stonehenge gone yet, though. Remember that the uh, we don't know where the tech is for uh, holy sites at all here. Yeah, it's good to see you too, man. I'm, I'm doing so much better. It's really nice to be back online and back in the swing of things this week. I hope you are well as well. I know you've been, sounds like you've been busy with work. Uh, Olduchu? Olduchu. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I would like to go Dark Age into Heroic if we get that option. Especially since no Earth Goddess. There's the iron. Is this the right spot to settle our city? It's going to get two seaside resorts that are pretty sweet. We could also remove the banana, put a government plaza here, and then district, district. So I think I want this city here, right? Like, this is just mass city. Like, we can grab all of these tiles, uh, and then maybe we can have a coastal up here for the seaside resorts that it's going to give us on these two tiles. Something to be said for settling up on uh, Nan as well. Although we're settling the high appeal. I want to think about this for a sec. Because Seaside Resorts. Although with the Mercury. Ugh. Here. Okay. So then maybe. Maybe just this is fine. Although again, this is a this is a potential seaside resort. Actually is a seaside resort. Could settle the Mercury. Yeah, that's odd though. No aqueduct. Like I'd rather settle this iron. But even that's not that exciting. What if we had government shouldn't Government plaza shenanigans down here. We could do like triple city triangulation. The plantations are kind of in the way. Just bought Civ 6 today. You're so lost. Uh, this is a great place to uh, learn and ask questions if you have any. Uh, I have, I've been streaming this game for a long, long time and uh, know quite a bit about and what def deficiencies I have chat helps, helps with. Uh, and we also have a, a, a Discord server with a civ chat portion if you want to uh, get your get your education on. But we welcome questions, and I love teaching this game. So you're in the right spot if you want to learn. I think this is okay. But I think, well, maybe I'm going to change course and go over here. Still get this theater square then. I don't know. I don't go to the Civ 6 subreddit enough, really. Why not a dry map for John? Uh, I don't love desert, just in general. I think if you go dry, you want um, desert folklore as your pantheon. I don't think I had money to friend her. Maybe I did. Although, did, did, maybe it wouldn't have mattered. She's also super far away, so who cares? She's mad that she's not on my continent is really what's happening there. No holy site. That's true. Maybe we squeeze two cities in here then. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I, this is fine, I think. I could have mo moved the warrior and then... Oops. This is why I don't link. Here's our Dark Age coming up. Do we want to shut down our scouts and just commit to our Dark Age? Because our last meet is worth a lot of uh, Era Score potentially. I think I'm going to do that.
Kumasi. Okay. That worked well last game. <laughs> so nice. Uh, we don't mind coastal so much because we have the extra housing. We have a 2-2 base and a 3-2 tile to work uh, to begin with here. The amenities, that's actually a lie. Uh, and we can begin with a monument. And then there was our sailing boost. So archery in eight, meaning we're starting Temple of Artemis at like turn 44. That's, uh, doesn't breed confidence, really. Oh, shut down scouts, shut down scouts. Shut down scouts. Yeah, I don't think, I think we're gonna rely more on Nan than Kumasi this game. I wish our scouts had a promotion. I also don't want to clear this this era then, right? Vessels large may venture more. I don't underrate the value. So 12 turns on political philosophy. That's going to start the next stage. Yeah, I think uh, I think dark into, into heroic is going to be pretty sweet. That should be decent for us. We'll keep discipline going, although I don't really need it. So I'm not going to keep it. Because that, that barb can heal, or our, our warrior can heal for a lot. The only, only spot in which this kind of becomes scary is when there are a bunch of uh, quadrims spawning out of that camp. But it doesn't have uh, three coastal tiles or whatever, so it won't. That won't be the case. Is it three or four that it needs? I don't remember. Production seems fine then. Shutting down my scouts. I'm gonna shut my scout down here to avoid the coast, right? You I can try to bring home. I will take that. I'll very happily take that. Mostly because it has a relic in it. It did not have a relic in it. <laughs> Gave us an envoy. Uh, that is not era score that we would be able to get. Also, it was contested by the scout, but uh, Goody Huts only give you era score in your first year ancient era. I thought we had founded our Pantheon. Whoops. I guess it's okay. We don't have any plantations yet, and I'm actually going to go into a a, a, war, a builder next. So it actually that actually it do, isn't punishing. <laughs> Never punished. Hello, Noctezuma. How you doing? What what made us choose to restart? Uh, just mi like it was kind of just miserable uh, for a lot of different reasons. And if I'm not gonna enjoy a game, I'm not gonna sign up to play it for like ten hours. <laughs> hmm, Carl with the brave strategies. Next, next level, next level, big brain moves. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna grow into and also produce the settler into, so we'll stay at pop three. Six turns on our era. Again, I'm not looking to clear this, but one more whack makes a lot of sense. I'm not scouting with the warrior. Like, I don't think there's a lot of risk in meeting someone all the way down here in the tundra, but obviously I've 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 said that famous last wordsingly before. Now, what we could find is like a wonder, and that might be a problem. You could be a wonder. Alright, I'll shut down the warrior. I'll shut down the warrior. One more whack? Nah, let's heal. Right, five turns on the era. So, <clears throat> what's our next move? 
He looks to be settling this way, which is making me very happy. So do we just want to settle our next best city? Do we need something strategic? Again, he's going to have a hard time getting in here. His path is literally in between these two tiles. So I would see him settling this before, although obviously we've seen the uh, AI reach pretty hard. This is a mountain uh, and not one that uh, is likely to be a wonder, but still. So we can either come down and settle, start settling this area, which seems like some really good cities, right? Especially if we can get them some builders. We can get our gold economy going. Uh, we can start trading amenities, which would be good. We have two turns before we're starting Temple of Artemis. I think I go. I think I go political philosophy. So I think I think I get this monument actually. I was gonna go for a builder. Do I want the builder? You know what? The builder is gonna give me more gold, which can therefore give us more money to buy more builders. Big brain. Big brain. All right, where do we settle? Ideally next to some plantations, right? So maybe right here. Interesting appeal there. Potentially access to iron if we wanted it. Another plantation down here. All right, so if that's a city, that's true, pyramid's possible here too. That's interesting. Because if we were to get the pyramids here, this is a plus five theater square. You too, TL, thank you for hanging out. Thanks for Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you. All right, so that looks decent. See, it sucks because like the try like settling the sugar, the citrus, and then this sugar kind of makes some sense, <laughs> although that's massive and in the way. I still, it still might be worth it to settle this sugar to try to gobble up some of their land. And grow fairly quickly. We miss out on one culture from that. And I think that's fine. Settle the iron then. Keep the appeal high. And then, like, a coastal down here somewhere. Could be this. Interesting for uh, for more Theater Square stuff. But all that is to say we come down and settle this. At least in this situation, we're not, like, we're not in a spot where getting one era score is going to knock us out of our dark. Cobble up all of Valetta's land by taking him over. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I shot an arrow into the so flood over here. There's archery, so now we can start working on Temple of Artemis theoretically. Construction currency. I want this. I want irrigation so that we can get this. Yeah. Five turns on political philosophy. One, two. Where are my holy sites, though? They, they have to be here, I guess, huh? Which means I have to go through irrigation. 
And yeah, I would like, is anyone working on him yet? No. He's got a lot of science already. That's another reason not to think about science in this game. Turn 48 political philosophy is great. You tread. Last turn of the era. So this has spawned, but we're going to be okay. We could always buy the tile and just fortify with the warrior. Not worried about that spot. Um. All right. So we go into a dark age here. It shouldn't matter too much from a loyalty perspective. People seem to be fairly far away. So unless we get some ridiculous forward settle, and frankly, we could probably flip that to our own advantage. Um. Yeah. Was that? I is sad. So, <clears throat> seems like, just in general, probably harder to get ancient and classic wonders when uh, when we're playing shuffle mode, especially something like TOA, right? You you kind of want to have built TOA by now. So, Mateo, thank you for the follow. Welcome. So this is no longer part of our plans, which makes me very, very sad because that was a really good TOA um, and would have been nice in, for our cap. This whole, this whole situation has changed quite a bit now. I could just throw my Governor Plaza here and double boost. Let's see, appeal of zero, two, and then two more. We can get a commercial hub. Maybe this is a Coliseum. Maybe we should go for Coliseum. It's thinking down here a little bit, but... Vicky got it. Okay, so we're in a dark age. We'll go ahead and pick free inquiry here. Uh, we have a we have a motivation to be finding Eurekas regardless, uh, and I think there's obvious the most reliable ones are like builders plus free inquiry. Uh, that's your best way of getting error score, typically speaking. Um, and yeah, uh, let's just take that. Probably go pretty comfortably into a heroic next. Let's fire up our scouts again. camp. There's three era score there. Well, this is sad. I have to rethink our cap now. And go for Apadana. I'm probably the first to political philosophy. Nope, she's in Classic Republic. So is he. Um... AI snowballs so hard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Well. So I guess I'm not doing autocracy. If I go autocracy, I don't have to run God King.
So we could start here. Try to build Apadana. Step three, profit. It's so awkward. All right. This boosts our appeal here. Our appeal is now one. So by removing these two rainforests uh, and building just about anything next to it, this will become plus five, plus six, uh, plus seven. This is no longer next to a wonder. Plus zero, plus two, so that becomes one, two, three, four, five still. Uh, awkward, awkward cacti. Uh, what, what, you got to ask a question. Ask a question and I'll give you advice in five words or less. So I'm not stoked about the harbor, obviously. We have a potential commercial hub down here. But I think it makes the best use of our land. And we could throw something in here. Yeah, and then maybe a campus there. We'll see. I'm trying to look at the rest of this now. Because this is could this could be four plus plus that. I'm in love with a coworker. What do I do? Ah, uh, that's a tricky one. Five words or less, huh? Probably quit your job. So that's the intent of, of that particular uh, redemption, is it's supposed to be sort of snarky and sarcastic and funny. Um, <laughs> but that was the five words. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're happy with your, bit, your uh, point purchase or not. I can't tell. So then two. Chop, chop becomes five. Six, seven. <laughs> I started the job a month ago, but you trust me. Um, I, I like. I, I see. That's one. That's one where I, I. I wish we could have the honest and sincere advice about because we could have a conversation about that. I've dated many people that I've worked with uh awkwardly including including one where i've been in w i was like a manager and stuff like so it's it can be very very complicated and is generally best avoided um however uh i don't know just like anything get to know them see if they love you back <laughs> do any of these do anything for us No? <laughs> so that's five. This this is what? Two, three, four, five. This is a plus five harbor. This is two. Five. Six, seven. Oh, I love Australia's districts. And then that'll be six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, plus eight campus. That would be Twitch drama, Seb. No. <laughs>
That's supposed to be a campus. So those are some sweet districts. I think this is a decent next plan, right? There's something to be said that this is also a plus seven campus on its own. So maybe this is their campus and then this could be our campus. Because that is also plus seven. Once we once you remove the uh, jungles. This could be their campus, I guess. Boop to boop. Okay. That seems fine. Hmm. Districts, huh? All right, so let's do autocracy because autocracy is going to give us faith per turn. It saves me, saves me the ability to run um, the God King, which would be kind of punishing to go along with autocracy because you get the double military, which you usually don't need. Um, so we will certainly go and we'll start with autocracy here, although try to switch out of it because I don't really want it as our long term legacy effect. Uh, we'll take two error score for that. Double XP here. Barb strength makes sense. Production also makes sense. Again, we don't have to run God King. There's our faith. Um, and then, yeah, they did, Peppermint. Victoria got it. She's also got political philosophy, so this uh, this whole plan I'm coming up with for Apadana may not work. We'll, we'll keep the wonder. So we have 10% wonder, produc wonder production here and 15 here, uh, and we will try for Temple of Artemis. That's kind of far away. <laughs> How have we avoided both of these? It's pretty impressive. We get it in two turns, so that's fine. Don't actually quit your job if you love somebody that you work with, by the way. That's probably a horrible, that's horrible advice. I didn't say it would be good advice, to be perfectly fair. Here's my early empire boost. Um, build a quarry. Nope. <laughs> so we'll just hard tech masonry. Try to get to our holy sites. Start with a monument. Start with... There's something to be said for starting with the food tile. It's only four turns till growth. Then we get to work that and have just better food base to grow this city. Normally, I, I, I don't know that I love that in a lot of situations, but here I think it does make sense. We picked a society. No, we have not picked a society. Probably going Void Singers. Once we get our monuments down, like here's here's one. So yeah, next next uh, next promotion we get at Early Empire. Yeah, no trader. I mean, we we're, we can eventually get here. That's probably where we're going next. In six turns, we can get a trader. What's the advantage of building the monuments before joining them? I mean, other than getting, you know, obviously when you click the button, then you get the yield. What You don't have to, but what you don't want to do is pick the society for the monuments while building a monument because it'll stop. It'll You'll waste all the production because it'll switch from an actual monument to an old, old god obelisk um, versus if you just have it done already, it'll convert. Um, but the only thing you don't want to do is have 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 some of them be in progress uh like this 29 turn one uh while while you're doing it what i what i what i'm looking at here is i want like if i have a monument done and i know i'm going void singers that's when i for sure want to appoint right so like 
the, it, it's kind of an argument because in 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 one turn we're gonna get it. It's kind of an argument to just like not put a production into that, but we're only putting in two production at a time, so eh, it still makes sense to wait. But do you know what happens with monuments for Rome? Yeah, Rome Rome instantly gets uh, old god obelisks. Old god obelisk uh, Rome makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot a lot of sense. I mean, that's for sure true, Rosie. I've met like a lot of my girlfriends at work. Galley for era score and exploration. And then, yeah, we'll switch to now that I harvest this, we can switch to Abadonna. Mm -hmm. And then we hope. We're just kind of hoping we get it. I don't have eyes on Vicky's land. I think she's our biggest threat. I do have eyes on you. I guess I don't need eyes on her land. I just need eyes on her cap. You building it? No. I think we might be okay. It was luxuries like. Okay, there's our pantheon. Again, I could still make a case for Earth Goddess, uh, but th this is one of those things that, like, wh when, it, when I like pantheons, it's because they give me something right away, typically, right? So, like, God of Craftsmen, if you have a bunch of, uh, if you're warring and have, like, a bunch of strategics because you've revealed them an anywhere, that's where, like, I like God of Craftsmen. So, like, if you're going to take something like God of uh, the Open Sky or, or um, Goddess of Festivals, which is going to be our choice here, you want to make sure that you're getting some early return on your investment from it, right? So having some early plantations. So don't pick Goddess of the Festivals and then realize at turn 70 that you haven't teched plantations, right? Like you want, you want to be getting something out of this almost the second you pick it, which is the boat we're in, which is nice. There's our mysticism boost. No wonders at all for astrology. That makes me very, very sad. Here's our next governor title. So we are going to take Void Singers. I'm curious to see, even though we've put a little bit of production into this, we put exactly two production into this monument. I know it's going to switch to an old god, uh, but I wonder if, if we'll lose it if it's not in the queue. Just something to kind of test here. But I do think it's appropriate. We'll get four faith per turn to grab this. Nope. See how we lost it? We lost that two production. Not a big deal. It's just two production, but uh, we still lost it. So notable. Hence me noting it. All right, any switches? We didn't have to run that right away. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Gladly. Oh yeah, my Southern Warrior. Thanks. So, boom, we have an extra culture that's very powerful on turn 49. Certainly less powerful, like 100 turns from now, right? Um, and then we are already growing to these ones. So, my hope here is to buy another builder very, very soon. 230, so three turns and we can buy another builder. And I can start chopping out these jungles uh, to not only give us housing or population, which is part of why I wanted the TOA here, to have a nice big capital. Um, but also for the production, obviously, towards the wonder. Nonviolent Batman, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. No wonders at all. And I think I just have to hard tech astrology at this point. All right, so he's moving up a little bit into what I would. Oh no, he had that. 
This is my territory, not that. That's too far. That's too far. My man. Uh, Body Sung, thanks for the follow as well. Welcome in. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we'll keep trading our resources. Try to make nicey nice. Every nation lives. Yo, temp uh, tempered strategy. I always want to call you temporary strategy, but no. Temp tempera, te tempera strategy. Thank you so much for the six months. Welcome back with that prime. Thank you very, very much for that support. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate you, Thali. No, I, I think we've got a game. I think this is a, a pretty fun one. In fact, I'm going to save over that old one. That's how confident I am. I think we've got it this time around. So we have foreign trade. That gives us a trader. I could buy that. There's something to be said for just buying it. But buying another builder, I think, goes a little bit further for us. All right, let's just go finish off our ancient era techs. I know, I really do need an, an Amani here. Because we're already missing out on uh, a whole lot. Let's um let's check in on some things here. Are we gonna be able to get a religion? Arabia working on points. That doesn't bother us at all because we know they're gonna get one regardless. So Scotland. I don't think we're getting a religion. Four people are going for it already. That sucks. Uh, that sucks. Cause I really wanted, uh, I really wanted work ethic. Plus seven production out of these holy sites would be fantastic. Um, I don't. I. I. I mean, even if I run it, like I'm not beating Arabia. I'm not beating England. Unmet player has five per turn. Like all these people picked the uh, golden age dedication of giving them. They. They took Exodus. I'm not getting it. It's just not happening. There's nothing I can do. Like, we don't even have our holy sites unlocked. That sucks. That's lame. Then we the web of the mystic measure. Finally. There's our hermetic order invite. And finally a uh, level on that. So that saves us a tiny bit of science in getting there. But we're already building a wonder does give us a governor promotion, which is really good. This is where we do want the Amani World Tour. What can we get with Amani? Uh, I do really don't want to suze here. This might be okay. So if you don't know, for each uh, for each envoy that that a city state receives beyond its first, it will it will grow a um, it will grow a tile. So, but it only does so for the for for its new max, right? So that. When it gets a second envoy, it's going to get a second tile. Um, and then, so if John, if we sent them a second envoy, uh, then Arabia could also send them an envoy and they wouldn't get one. But so whoever sends them a new one for their max, they get tiles and stuff. So you want to be careful about that when you're settling around city-states because you can kind of plan what tiles they're going to get. Uh, they will tend to prioritize uh, resources and highest yield tiles. The work ethic bug been fixed yet? I don't think so. I don't think so. And that's a good point. Like maybe it's not even that good for us since since it is in a buggy state. We're already at 17 era score here. Please tell me this is your last eight game with the random tech mode. Uh, I'm certainly learning that I don't think it's for me, and I, I don't even think it's really for duty. Um, but I, I I won't say last. Uh, but am I am I am I loving the fact that I can't plan? early stuff that happens in the ancient era? No, I'm not happy about that. It's not fun. So, Amani, where are you going? I can Suze Nan and just keep her there, which is, there's something to be said for that. Um, it would give us two culture per turn. 
Preslav we could try for. It's kind of the furthest away. They're they're still kind of up in my business, though. I guess they're going to get, like, these tiles, which I'm not really contested for. All right. I know I'm going to want Amani eventually, so I think it's an okay spot to take her. Could run Diplo League for a second. Do I get those holy sites quicker with Nan Soothed? Uh, Nan gives us uh, culture from coastal settles and uh, districts. My man. Uh, talk, talk a run. Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Uh, it is Lake Settles as well. Sorry. Coastal and Lake Settles and Districts. To your point, Daniel. Yeah, we, we've already missed the Amani World Tour, if I'm being perfectly honest. So if I, if I send them to Valletta, they're probably going to take this tile and the rice, if not these other tiles. I don't really want to give up on this tile. I guess it's not that bad. I think I'm just going to send Amani here. And take the culture from it. I don't think we'll need the era score. And we've already missed out on a whole bunch of it. And I'd rather not give up the tiles. And then I can leave this. Alright, sweet. Is there an envoy I want to send out, though? Kumasi. I don't think they live in this game, though. I don't think they live very long. Position without hundred games, hundred days. What's up, my my dude? How you doing? Always great to see you, TGM Love Less Than Three from Australia. Same, same. Everybody go follow my buddy, hundred games, hundred days. He's awesome. Uh, stop by. <laughs> It's, he's, he's just kind of delightful. I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, you'll, you'll have fun. It'll be worth your time. Uh, and thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so much for the resub, and welcome on back for six months. Thank you, thank you. Um, no, there's, there's zero chance for religion in this game. Just zero. Like, the, the two things that we wanted to do... We're at the very end of the ancient tree versus these are things that are usually very, very early on. Um, and so, yeah, you just can't prioritize it. You can't you can't guarantee that it'll happen. And this is, again, like you're like, wait, wait, why doesn't it, didn't it take the AI time to get there, too? Aren't they aren't they dealing with the same randomized tech tree? But again, look at their scores, right? Look, if they build a monument, it's worth more culture than our monuments. That's just how deity works, right? So they they can plow through this. Not to mention, they start with a bunch of free techs and civics anyways. Um, so they can get started on stuff way faster than we can. And so that predictable order uh, in which you can do things goes way down. Do we unlock this? Where do we go? I don't even know where to go. We, and we have to go through like all of this. I mean, eventually we're going to want to write, do this. We're going to want uh, writing. Decent land down here. Nice uh, St. Basil potential. I think I like Coliseum somewhere in here. But we'll see. I don't understand the question, Joss. didn't see it sadly yeah again amenities kind of don't matter mysticism is the mystic well they always get you always have to they always start with these like your basic ones i don't remember how many exactly how many uh they get i'd have to look at the sheet
I don't know how that level of the AI works, to be honest. So I never get this and I need it for drama and poetry. Yeah, this is another thing too, right? Like like this being sort of more of a linchpin sort of uh, tech, you know, can be really frustrating if you miss out on your religion, for example. So that's a bit of a bummer. See you, Zond. Have a good one. And yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. We got a good bit done. Uh, lots of chats in this one too, but uh, I, hopefully interesting discussions and conversations. Uh, thank you so much. If you've been watching over on the YouTubes, I really do appreciate it. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.